My name is uh, Alan Renault. I'm uh, working at Soundfall for uh, four years and a half now. I'm the lead character artist there, so I was mostly working on the, all the uh, main char characters, like from the main cast, but also I was working on, on a lot of uh, enemies, boss, a small amount of uh, NPCs, but also alternative uh, skins. So uh, Expedition 33 is a turn-based uh, RPG with uh, real-time elements, like uh, during the combats, when you have to parry, you have to dodge enemies' attack, you also have to time your uh, attacks to make them more powerful. It sets uh, in a uh, French Belle Epoque, uh, you know, like uh, with a lot of Art Deco uh, themes and everything. So the story starts 67 years ago at the city of Lumiere, where um, in this world you have the, a big monolith at the center of it, and at the bottom of it, there's a paintress who every year paints a number, and everyone of that age, uh, with, the, with the age is the number right on the monolith, disappear. So we have a, an expedition every year who tries to stop the paintress from committing the gommage and uh, to save the world. So you join Maël, Gustave, and everyone on this uh, expedition to stop the paintress. I, I worked a bit on the concept art, but the, the main concept artist and also our art director is uh, Nicolas Maxon Francon, who is the, the, the art director for the project. And we were really working closely together to make the characters. Since we are a small studio, it was easier, you know, to have a, a lot of discussion about, hey, let's make it more that way, let's make it more this way. And uh, how we would do it is like Guillaume or Broche or um, game director would give us the script about the character and give us a little description. Nicolas would make a concept uh, and then uh, I will work uh, with him to refine it. Yeah, th this was important from the team for, for everyone to have like this overall view of the project, you know. So everyone is on the same page and this helps brings more creativity to the project. It's important to have a big vision for us of everything here. So uh, a lot of the inspiration comes from the Belle Epoque, you know, uh, in France. So yeah, we have those uh, big coats, you know, like those very classy suits for men and uh, everything. So these were drawing Nicolas made uh, for us to have like a reference and uh, also to make the City of Lumière, you know, like have this uh, really color, uh, like a lot of different colors for, for everyone. Uh, here also, like you can see the dress, but also all the art deco uh, pattern on everything, which was really important for us, like give this art deco vibe and uh, to, to bring a lot of colors to, to, to the city of Lumiere. How I will approach um, adjustment in art direction in Marvelous is, because I will try to make the best base possible in Marvelous. Because if I were to make something in Marvelous and uh, I would know that I would change 99% uh, of it uh, in ZBrush, well, uh, there's no use to it. So I, I would try to make like something as, as finished as possible uh, for me in, uh, in Marvelous so, so that I would get the main shape, the main uh, dynamics uh, on the fold and everything so that it, it's perfect for me and would like show it to, to our art director. And only then I would export it and refine it in, uh, in ZBrush. It was really important for us to make the closing give as much information uh, of the character as possible. Like for example, Ciel, uh, which is a character in our game, has a very like bright uh, personalities. And, uh, but she also had uh, a hard life and we wanted to show it in uh, her closing but we also did the same for everyone for example Lune who is a more like uh, she's more cold uh, personality and everything she's following the rule disciplined and so we wanted to show it on her characters too for example uh, Ciel she doesn't follow the rule as much as Lune she has like asymmetrical clothing she also has a light thing, but she also, she, she's a warrior. So she has these big pants and uh, the knife. 
so, so she can move around with her small coat. And it's kind of the opposite for Lune, you know, like she has this much more symmetrical uh, uniform, like she has the, 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 the coat and everything, which give her this look of like um, very uh, following the rule and, uh, and everything. We did this for all the characters, like we needed to, like if you saw the character and her clothing, uh, you instantly understand okay, what type of person, personality uh, uh, she or he has. So Maëlle, uh, she's a young girl, she's the youngest uh, of the crew. She, she didn't fit uh, in Lumière and she wanted to go to the expedition. She wanted to explore the, wor the world and everything. And we wanted uh, to showcase that in a, in a uniform, especially for a fighting style. She has like um, a small sword that, and she, she's very fast and very agile. And so we made her uh, clothing uh, with uh, not a big coat, but uh, on the contrary, like uh, a very tight pants, high boots, also like this really like class, classy uh, top with the, her bright color and also like this small um, coat. This gives her this look of like, a, okay, she's a fast and agile girl. Personally, I have a special way to work with Marvelous. I don't tend to make uh, files with every closing in one because I want to focus on only one part of the character so for example this is the file for the pants where I would only have like the the, the view of the the patterns and the, the 3d view and I would only focus on the pants so like this was the pants that I work on after the marvelous uh, path and then I would like work on the on the coat so this is how I would do it I would just bring the import the FBX as the avatar, and then uh, I will work on the coat to to have the like big important uh, shape for me, and especially on the arm I wanted to have like those diamond shapes here, and uh, also on the back. Also, I wanted to have like those those, those big crease. I wanted to have a big shoulder uh, here. Uh, I love this kind of shape, and this is why I love Marvelous is that. It allows me to, to work on those shapes uh, more precisely and uh, yeah, and I uh, would freeze some parts. Like for example, I didn't want the, the sleeves to go on the forearm. So yeah, okay, just instead of like uh, trying to make it tighter and everything, I would just freeze this part. And uh, I know it, it won't move, you know. And also, uh, I can just uh, copy paste this and uh, just uh, send it to another one. So I would know like, okay, so the pants of, uh, I don't know, Ciel or Lune is cool. I want to put it on uh, Verso, for example, or I don't know. I can just open the file uh, Ciel pants, copy paste everything, put it on the uh, other one for uh, Verso. Then I would move things around that it would match. So this helped me create uh, like a library of clothing for all the characters. So yeah, it's hard to recognize him, but uh, what I would like, uh, what I, I like to do is like make a, a basic shape of the characters that I want. So I would make like a, a really simple shape in, um, in ZBrush to have the overall uh, proportion of the characters. And then I would uh, import it into uh, Marvelous and then it just like, you just do pants like you would do, except you move things around to fit it. And like, for example, like when I say uh, uh, earlier that uh, I, don't be scared to move away from, from your reference, like you wouldn't find reference of pants uh, like this on the internet, especially that shape. But what's really important for me is the result here. I don't care about this. If this helped me make something good here, that's, that's what's important. So that's why I, I have those weird shapes. I, I would move things around, you know, like, okay, I want it, uh, for example, I want it to have like big fold here. So I would like give more uh, closing to, to that side here to, to help push it, have more of those big folds, you know, like this is what's important for me. Like here, since it's more humanoid, I would, I will make something that would be more close to real life uh, pattern. So you, as you can see here, and I can move like uh, the shoulder to have the, those big folds. I would freeze some parts 
you know, to, to make it tighter, I could use also uh, the elastic uh, uh, things, but I prefer to have those kind of things with uh, the freezing because it gives me more liberties. And so this was really important to, for me to, to have like uh, those big shapes. So I would like make, for example, this is the, the pattern for this and I would make it wider than the other one to give like all those big wrinkles that I like. Uh, that's the same for, for this when you, when you compare the size of uh, this to this, it's way bigger and that's, that's what I liked about it because it helped me have like those big folds that I find really cool looking and uh, it's the same here. And then everything is just falling in uh, really, really perfectly and I would use seam taping to make it more uh, uh, less sturdier and uh, to, to have a big shape that I like. <laughs> yeah, so my experience with uh, Marvelous Designer is like, it's super fun when you discover it for the first time, then it's really hard to, to master it. But once you do, it's really cool because you have this tool that makes you really good looking, closing very fast and really great result in a, in a very short of time. So once you, you get how it works, this helps save a lot of time. And this is a really, really good tool for, for every artist, I think. What I would uh, recommend to all the other artists who want to learn Marvelous is that just move things around. Don't be scared uh, to, to be away from your, from your reference because the, the most important thing is the end result. Expedition 33 has a big place in my heart because it, it really changed me uh, as a human being. The next step for me is trying to be even better at uh, Marvelous because I know there's a lot of tools that I don't know how to use. I want to be a better sculptor, I want to be a, to make better texture and everything. So these are, this was my goal four years ago and it's still my goal and I think it, it's going to be my goal my whole life. 